not getting too much complicated like okay you can do it with if you don't make sushi it's this and then mix it 300 costed 100 hi everyone thank you so much for tuning in once again welcome to another new video and today i will be speaking english because i saw a comment where somebody requested me to speak english so i will speak english so i went to the asian store yesterday it was saturday to buy some food and guess what guys i got offer 10 person offer even this bag it was with 10 person offer so basically this go asia it's an asian store where you get more than 4000 products from different parts of asia japan korea thailand india you name it and every month on first saturday they will give 10 percent off so i thought like okay it makes sense for me to buy food for one month maybe or maybe less than that it depends so yesterday was the first time i went to the asian supermarket to buy a lot of stuff i used to buy but not this much but this time i wanted to make sushi actually it's like this guys before i'm not a big fan of eating sushi yeah i liked it but not that much but my japanese friend when she treated me sushi that was the day that i was like mm, it tastes so good and then that's how i told myself okay i will make a sushi and i can also make a video at the same time and somebody also commented that i should eat fish so in the sushi there will already be fish right so yeah without wasting more time like i've mentioned in my previous video one euro is sometimes 90 rupees 89 rupees up and down so currently i've checked so it's 89,50. so based on that one i will be telling you the prices and disclaimer I just removed the paisas so that it's not getting too much complicated for you guys because I've bought a lot of food so it might be confusing. So I've removed the paisas like I've said. Yeah, so this is actually very important when you make sushi. It's seaweed and here you have 140 gram with 50 sheets and this costed me 9 euro 99 cents which when I converted it's 894 rupees it's a little bit expensive but it's 50 sheets so i think it will last a little bit long yes this one and guys i find something very cute this one i bought it for my flatmate as a gift <laughs> so basically this one is for those people who don't know how to use chopstick i can already show you it's made in china and it's 267 rupees 2 euro 99 cents so it's like this you know <laughs> So it's very easy for them, see? Because for chopstick and you can also remove it when you think like, okay, you can do it without this. This panda, you can also remove it. So basically chopstick, I don't know, like we put it like this, right? And then we just, we just move this part. But <laughs> for some people, it's not easy to move it like this. So for them, they need this extra help. So now I wanted to buy the big one of fermented beans. This is a fermented bean space. Like I've mentioned in my previous video, Naga Girl Cooking. If you're watching that, then you will know or else you will not. Yeah, I wanted to, I did a little bit mild prank <laughs> where I said, oh, I, I have a bad news. And then the bad news was that my fermented beans got over, nothing serious. Yeah, so it's 500 gram and it's made in Korea and it costed 3 euro 99 cents. But when I converted, it's 357 rupees, this one. I wanted to buy the big one but it was not there so yeah and guys I found this very interesting this is a sushi maker actually it's made of plastic and which I really like it because the one that is made of just this um, yeah the one that is made of wood sometimes it also you know if you don't wash it properly then some fungus started growing and this is see plastic so I found it very nice this one so let's see looks good so far and this costed me 267 rupees which is 2 euro 99 cents so now let's go to the next one and we also have garlic here it's 250 gram and this cost me 178 rupees oh, it's expensive but what can i say everything is yeah 
and this one it's um, wasabi so basically you put this in the sushi while making it i will be making sushi my own i will be putting the whole recipe of how i made sushi homemade sushi it's going to be a very tasty sushi so if you're interested uh, in learning how to make easy fast and tasty sushi please subscribe to my other channel naga girl cooking because i will be uh, making delicious sushi and then uploading there okay so this is wasabi sauce it's very strong so i we have to put it just a little bit and it's no added color it's made in japan and this costed 4 euro 99 cents and it's 446 rupees and it's 100 70 gram so small but very expensive so annoying uh, and this one it's also made in japan and this is 250 ml guys and this costed 4 euro 99 cents but in indian rupees this costed 446 rupees this one so basically uh, you just you know dip the sushi in this vinegar and then you eat then you get the real taste it's very yummy and here we have rice vinegar. This is also very important when you're making your sushi. You want, you have to put it at the sushi rice and then mix it properly. That's really important. And this is 500 ml, the cheapest one that I could get. The cheapest and the big one. Because I don't want to eat sushi only ones, I want to keep on making. So it's 4 euro 99 cents, which is like 446 rupees, this one. But it will last a little bit longer, so it's good. We just have to put a little bit, not much. And this is sushi rice. And to my surprise, it was very expensive. It's from Spain, this rice, not from Japan. And this costed 3 euro 59 cents. And in Indian currency, it's 321 rupees for one kg of rice, insane. Yeah, and I also bought another rice, this is Purple rice, you can say rice berry, it's also called as jasmine rice and it's one kilo and it's the product of Thailand, it's from Thailand and it's a local one I believe and it's one kg, 447 rupees which is 4 euro 99 cents and I also bought some noodles this time, this is um, made in Korea and it's 1 euro 59 cents and in Indian rupees, it's 143 rupees. So now we have this one. It's kimchi and it's 1 euro 59 cents. It's also made in Korea. Koreans love to eat kimchi as you, as you guys all know it. And it's 141 rupees and 51 cents. I wrote the cents. Oh, no, sorry, not the cents. 141 rupees 51 paisa. But I stopped writing the paisas here, yeah. And here, this one, we also have another kind of noodle. This is also from Korea. And this costed 160 rupees and it's 1 euro 79 cents. Then we also have again another kind of noodles once again. It's beef flavor, it's instant noodle. And this is made in Japan and it's zero. 99 cents so it's nearly one euro and it's 89 rupees in uh, in Indian currency and also this one it's made in Korea it's one euro 59 cents and it's 141 rupees okay so all these are the ones that I bought at the Asian supermarket this one and guys since i bought it from 10 percent uh, discount all the prices that i've mentioned right now all these are after discount okay so i save nearly five euros i save nearly 500 rupees so i think that's a very good deal right okay now i also went to the indian store so basically me and the Naga German couple, we have been um, planning to meet okay because we met the first time and we really enjoyed each other company and we really wanted to meet again. We made a lot of appointments. Initially, baby Esther got sick and we had to cancel the appointment. And after that, I also got sick and then we had to cancel the appointment. And after that, 
like it's also this month is also a little bit difficult because they have some appointments the husband is working and yeah everybody is busy so so actually i bought this for her this red label it's like tea she said this is her favorite so i wanted to gift her but this expiring on September and you know only two pieces were there okay in the stock and it's like sometimes it's also difficult to get stock no that's why I got scared in case if uh, it gets uh, out of stock that's why I just bought it for her although we cannot meet her I'm planning I will use a little bit and then give it to her because I don't want it to get expired if she is not able to finish everything then if it's expired then she has to throw it right so yeah so i wanted to be a little bit efficient and yeah and this costed by the way 11 euro 99 cents and in indian rupees it's 1073 rupees but it's one kg so yeah it's good <laughs> one kg and i also bought this chili pickle oh man this is from pakistan and it costed 405 rupees it's one kg and it's four euro 45 cents in German currency and this one is expiring in 2025 so I still have enough time so this time I wanted to try a different one I always eat garlic pickle but I thought okay this time chili pickle and we will see next time yeah so this is from the Indian store and I also bought some stuff from the German store so now let's check for the German store okay so guys in order to make the sushi it's very very important that you put a good quality of fish you cannot just put random fish i mean you can put it but it won't taste the best right so lux is a good quality of fish that i like it although it's a little bit expensive yeah it's two thousand rupees one kg and also uh, in indian rupees it's like 428 rupees for this one this is 200 gram and then in german currency it's 4 euro 79 cents one reason why i don't eat fish in germany it's it's also not easily available yes of course it's available but you don't have that much varieties like sausages or pork or beef and in addition to that it's super expensive so i think as a student i can even count how many times i bought fish and add i think it's not even five times believe me and every time i i bought fish it was not more than five euros i was very careful what i what i'm buying and eating because i have to um you know i have to save money <laughs> nutrient score is not the best it's d so basically if you're not aware about this then it's a nutrient score and this was first there in france before and after that it came to germany also but before it came to germany there were a lot of discussions about this one and i find this nutrient score very interesting because uh, as a child you are like you know trained about the traffic light if it's green then it's go red then stop so they are calculating how much healthy the you know the food is so whenever you are in a hurry and if you don't have time then you can just check at the nutrient score i mean these also not the best so this fish it costed me four euro 79 cents and it's 428 rupees which is 200 gram and for one kg it costs 2000 rupees oh my goodness this is too expensive i can't afford yeah and i also bought this one it's like uh, in india we call it tin fish na? here they call us tun fish fly uh, fillets so it's like ein zwei drei vier we have the fish took so we have four pieces here and like all together it's like five euro 49 cents which is 491 rupees and we also bought cucumber cucumber and you know here cucumber and all they don't sell in kg but they just sell like per piece okay so i always check and take the big one <laughs> and this costed 106 rupees insane just for this one piece 106 rupees and guys i also bought ginger and ginger is like uh, it's bio it's a good quality one kg it costs like 617 rupees but i bought only 138 grams which costed me 85 rupees for this two piece okay now i have a good news don't skip the video <laughs> this one 
I got it in October, okay, just 99 cents, which is really good because it was 1 euro 99, I think. So I bought three because whenever I'm cooking, if there's no tomato, then I don't like it because Indian foods, we need to put a lot of tomatoes. Like if you are putting, not a lot, but without tomato, it doesn't taste good. Machia all, for example. So it's cluster eins. Cluster eins is good, actually. And this is from Spain, this product. And also this is like um, 99 cents, which is 88 rupees and it's 500 grams. So I bought three, one, two and three. So which costed me like two euro 98 cents, two euro 97, yeah, cents. That's it. So guys, thank you all so, so much for watching till the end. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Cheers.